little dance, man. Los Angeles Pride, baby.
Yo, what's up with cattle and decapitation, man? You guys still coming with that? Yeah! So many years ago, when cattle was coming up and crematorium was coming up, nobody knew what to do with these two bands. Because we paved our own path. We did our own style of death metal. And a lot of times, people looked at us and said, that's not real. That's not true. Fuck those people who say that. Straight up. I'm not there to win. This goes out to those putos who said, you ain't real. You ain't true. They're not here tonight. You know what they're doing? They're fucking jacking off in their highest face and going to work at Walmart tomorrow. This song is called Blood Wake. separation. That theory has to do with you're walking down the street, you decide to be a puto and fuck with somebody. Next thing you know, by six people, that person is related to you. What it has to do with is, in this fucking place, in this world, we have to stop being stupid. We have to start uniting. We have to start remembering that we all have a heart. We all have blood. We all have cojones. We all have the, the gift of women. Respect your women. This is about family. We are a worldwide family. Don't let them tell you otherwise, man. Because when they do, they win. This song is called Six Degrees of Degradation.
How many of you guys listen to hip hop? Come on, my mom is way. How many of you guys listen to hip hop? Get real with it. Who fucking cares what other people think? Hip hop is real, man. Death metal is real. If you ain't open your mind, Quaid, then you're still stuck on Total Recall. One thing that hip hop does is talk beef tracks. They, they get out there and they say, yo, fuck that dude, blah, 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 and they let it know. Nobody does that in death metal. But I fucking do. I wrote a beef track against Disturbed. There was a time when all this new metal shit started coming into the death metal scene and everyone started turning into these, fuck that shit. No disrespect to the homies, but fuck that shit. Corn was awesome, you ain't corn. Shut the fuck up. So these dudes came in and they started turning all these beat heads into these fucking metal dudes, and I said, fuck that shit. So I wrote a beef track. They said, are you down with the sickness? I said, fuck your sickness. They probably never heard it, but maybe one day they will, and fuck your sound of silence cover, and that shit sucks. This song goes out to all those monster energy drink, high truck, flat villain, wearing motherfuckers who don't know what it is to actually love this music and die for it. This one goes out to them because they need to take their dick out and realize that there's only one disease that I wish they died for. It's called testicular fibrosion brought by the insertion of Twinkies into the urethral catheter. They gave their heart and soul on this stage. Give it up to them. Come on, LA. That's what I want to hear. I think I made it pretty well known for about 
five, six years, I dealt with a heroin problem. Heroin, drugs, any of that shit, it's no joke, man. You gotta get over that shit. If you have a problem, reach out to somebody. That problem is not gonna make you anything. Your family's crying for you. The one thing, though, is that the United States government wants people that have brains to be hooked on drugs. They make it easy for us. They pump fucking prescription medications inside of you, and they say, hey, you know what, your back hurts, put this inside of you. Hey, you know what, your butthole hurts, put this inside of you. Fuck that shit, get over it. I'm fucking 41 years old, 350 fucking pounds. And I say, you know what, when they go into the fucking clinic and they say, here's that fucking Roxy, here's that fucking Vicodin, here's that Oxycontin, you know what I say? I'm not a fucking puppet to you anymore, man. Fuck that shit, I live my own life still with pain. Life is pain. We wrote this, yeah, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit.
the last thing. We're going to be playing at the Las Vegas Death Fest in June. Las Vegas is only showing us love, man. If anybody's here from Las Vegas, thank you so much for being a fucking crematorium fan. How many people here from LA, though? Who is here not from LA? That's what. LA, not LA. Everyone comes together under one flag, and that's metal. Love you guys too, man. So give it up to the band that's behind me, man. We have Aaron Cross on drums. One fucking big Rob on guitar, man. And Ranson on bass. I've known this big sexy that doesn't have sex anymore. That doesn't. I hope, actually, I put on this thing tonight, so. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate everything that you guys do for Breaking Bread, coming out here, supporting the bar, supporting the fans. Without you guys, man, I've always said it, without the fans, this shit ain't happening, man. It's an amazing feeling to be up here, blowing my voice out, showing you guys my pulsa, and uh, not being sexually attractive at all. This will be our last song for tonight, and then we're going to give it up for a fucking cattle decapitation, like I said. Back in the day, cattle and crematorium used to play together all the time, and a lot of people were like, you guys aren't real, like I said, but we still play to look where cattle's at. They're fucking awesome, they're touring the world. So much respect to those guys, I love you guys, your family. So the last political message, if you ever know, Sing crematorium before I talk a lot because I believe in a lot of messages. I believe that we have a positive music within fucking death metal, within extreme underground, that we're smart people. And a lot of people look at us and say, look at those fucking gorillas. We're not fucking gorillas. We're motherfucking people who have a fucking mind. We believe what we believe. We don't care what you fucking think. We are people. And if you don't fucking believe it, I love better go with. This song has to do with all the people that are out there polluting this fucking earth and doing dumb shit. And then when they see the fucking wrath of God, not a God from Jesus, not a God from Jehovah, nothing but that, but the earth is coming back and saying, I'm gonna crush you because you fucked up my planet. This is what this has to do with. Fuck all religions, fuck all other state of minds and aliens and shit. They're real, but you know what? We are going to end ourselves. We need to start thinking better. We need to start acting better. Let's become an actual people and not separations. Because you know what? When the end of the day comes, you're going to look at God. It's going to be you. And he's going to look at you and say, motherfucker, you knew the cost. Now you're going to fucking pay the price. Never fall! 
Thank you, Los Angeles. You guys rule. Love you.